the challenges young people face, the youth in Kenya today is uh, not having the best opportunities with us because that is very limited and scarce jobs. Another challenge I feel is in certain setups like the ghetto where people don't have as much knowledge, as much vision. You are surrounded with people who are used to the lifestyle they have. They don't get to dream big. I was not born in a perfect family. The marriage between my mom and my dad was on and off. Um, I live with my mom, my two brothers, uh, then my cousins, who are more family because we've lived together since we were really young. I had the opportunity to represent Kenya in the Pan-African Youth Summit, where we got to learn on entrepreneurship, advocacy, how the government systems work. I didn't know as young as I am, I could stand for my country, I could advocate and have a voice. I came home feeling like there is so much out there. Through the partnership of DHL and SOS, I was able to join the Gotish program, first by through job shadowing. Then I got to join as an intern. When the contract ended, I was absorbed as an employee with DHL and I got to do occupational health and safety. I have to keep reminding people, keep directing people, keep teaching people. We also train people on uh, safety procedures, health, on COVID awareness. So far, uh, I think in my life, I have pushed myself in areas I didn't know I could achieve. In terms of the little money I have saved, it becomes a choice to either continue with my studies, invest it in my studies, or pay school fees for my siblings and my cousins. Because as much as I want to study, I want to advance myself. I do not want to make them feel like they still have to keep living in this situation. I want a stable future for my family where we don't have to worry about tomorrow.